Before we start with this video, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to give a huge shout out to all my boys on this video. As you can see, go follow them, follow their channels, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, finesse the bell so you never miss a video when it drops. And the reason why I'm telling you to do this is because their content's original, it's entertaining, and you'd be a fool not to check them out. So make sure you check them out, all right? What's going on everybody on YouTube? My name is Shad. Welcome back to Shad's World. And for today's video, we're going to talk about a sneaker that everybody on planet Earth has ever owned, worn. And that's right, you saw from the title in the box, Converse logo right there, Converse and white right here. And we got the logo right here on the side with the black bottom on the back. There's nothing solid. Went with a size 10 and I will explain why. And on the bottom right here, just some recycling details. Flip the box open. You are greeted with these logos from the Converse line. Also with the bottom of the sneaker, I'll get to that in the review. And when we pull the paper up, standard grayish white paper. And anybody who's wondering, Converse uh, are $65. And here is the bad boy itself. Starting off, we have a all canvas upper with the canvas tongue right here. And on the inside of the, the sneaker, it's actually beige, like a, or a light tan type of coloring. It's actually really padded inside. Let me just put the tongue up right there just to show y'all. It's actually pretty padded on the, uh, on the sides of the, the sneaker. You get the same beige insole with Converse and Navy right there. And believe it or not, this insole is actually really, really soft. It's got some cushion to it. Maybe Nike, maybe Nike buying Converse was a good thing. Because I remember back in the day when I bought some Converse, they, they were rock hard. But these are actually pretty, pretty comfortable. And I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say something crazy right here. If you do not own a pair of these... I don't care if they're lows, highs, mids, pink, purple, uh, green, don't care. If you don't got a pair of these sneakers, you are not a sneakerhead. You are not a sneakerhead if you don't got a pair of Chuck Taylors. And I'll tell you why. Because the Chuck Taylor sneaker uh, is the first basketball sneaker ever made. It was released back in 1920. However, the actual shoe model was released back in 1917. If I'm not mistaken, I think I might get, I might have the years mixed up, but bear with me, okay? And so Converse is, uh, this sneaker was never called the Converse All-Star. It was called Converse Non-Slip. And the reason for that is because of the bottom. Now, the bottom right here, we, we are gifted this diamond rubber right here. And this is to move around this is the traction back in the day and right here this is all cloth so cloth material starts here wraps all the way down and comes right to the uh to this part where rubber is met right here with an even tougher rubber and the same diamond rubber down there with your converse all-star branding at the bottom now the reason why this sneaker has this cloth material is, was because back in the day uh, basketball was never a popular sport, and this is was this was to make sure nobody was slipping on the courts. Now, if you've ever been on a basketball court, you know if it's slippery, you're gonna go sliding, you're gonna go flying, and the cloth material actually worked back in the day. But now, since technology for courts and sneakers have gone better, don't risk your don't risk your body wearing these to play. It's not worth it. You're gonna get hurt. Trust me, I've done this before multiple times. I used to do this on concrete, on asphalt, on the blacktop, and trust me. My friends, if you, any of you guys are watching, you guys know how crazy I used to be wearing these things. Man, I'm suffering joint pain, foot issues from doing a bunch of stupid crap, but you know, it just is what it is. Now, I, along with this, we have white stitching that wraps up around here, goes around the top, and comes back down, leading back to the rubber. And one of the most uh, interesting things about this shoe is that it's got two eyelet holes here. And can someone explain why they, these things are even here? I've heard two. I've heard two reasons. Number one, 
it's because of breathability because this sneaker uh a cloth i'm sorry a fabric sneaker is not very uh breathable in the summer and i've heard that theory and another theory i've heard is that you're supposed to lace your you're, you're supposed to put the laces through here for support from your for like sturdiness or something like that i heard that on reddit i'm not sure if that's even true so if you guys know let me know what's what what, what why we have these two things here and here's the logo it looks like it's been ironed on it's not stitched on so don't let these uh stitching print-ons fool you it's not at all stitched it's just like maybe it's glued on maybe glued on is a better is a better term because it looks like a sticker to be honest and white rubber on the toe cap white rubber midsole with a black stripe going across all stars i'm sorry all stars with a star converse on the back with your your i forget what these things are called it's like a i forget what this is called it's just this yeah something there i i'm losing my mind right now i can't think today it's one of those days and let me fix my let me fix that focus focus there we go we get diamond uh whoa 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 hold on hold up hold up let me fix that there we go now that we're focused we have this diamond um pattern right here in the rubber diamond detailing and yeah man i mean for 65 bucks i don't understand why people aren't talking about such a great sneaker and like i said i'm being dead ass if you don't got a pair of these you are not a sneakerhead this is the oldest sneaker that's still around this sneaker is older than nike older than adidas older than the nba man hell this sneaker is even older than the nfl the nfl came out in 1920 so yeah converse as a whole is way one of the oldest brands in the united states when it comes to footwear and i think we got to pay homage we got to pay our respects to the ones who came before us so with that being said ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this review and i don't know i mean i hope everyone's having a good day thank you so much for 727 subscribers we're gonna get on to the on foot review 